Welcome back to Super Tuesday Recap. This is your host, Chris and Deepom here, and we are here to review, uh, I think this is episode five of season one of Inhumans, Something Inhuman This Way Comes. I could have sworn they used that title for an, an Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. It felt like that, right? I thought they did. Did they not do that? I didn't look it up. It was one of those things that tickled to the back of my head. I was like, that seems familiar. I'm I'm pretty sure they did use it for an, 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 an Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something close to it. Um, and, and so, but again, uh, anyway, on the run from Aaron and, uh, the Inhuman Army, Black Bolt and Medusa work with Louise to find their family. Maximus changes the game completely. Does he though? Okay. Um, what do you think of this episode? It's weird because the things I liked about this episode, I really liked. The things I felt were weak, I felt were some of the weakest of the series. I think it's trend. I think... Overall, this series is definitely trending in the right direction. I think you and I were I were on when we said that the IMAX thing was a distraction and a bad one. But I think the show is finding its footing. There are things this episode that stood out to me as worse than I'd seen before. Like the Crystal stuff, which I've defended on the show, is indefensible this episode. You know, it's just bad. I'm wondering, um, because you know, they're only doing eight episodes. Do yeah. you think the short do you think the short season hurt them because it feels like they're trying it hurt to hurt and it hurt and helped right because it's like the things that work well work well you're like okay that works because that feels like it's a short season like compromise or like something explaining like Karnak's powers to us by taking them away was smart right right and 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 and, and that works and that um, works because of the short season right but then you get things like the 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 crystal stuff and you're like okay we don't have time for this but we did if we if it was a longer season. But right now we don't have time for this. Like she was like, I gotta find the rest of my family. But let's go and chill on the beach with this random human that we just met, and you know, watch the sun sun go down. I was like, well, I I, I like that because it played to her. It played to her naivete. It played to her being a child like that. I don't have a problem with that kind of stuff. I just have a problem with the acting within it. Oh no no, her acting's terrible. Maybe that's what it is. Her acting is horrendous. Right. <laughs> it's it's bad. Um. Yeah, I don't. I, I just it's just one of those things. I feel, I feel like it's both, like the things that work well for it are well paced, like they they they're planned out really well. But then there's also things where I feel like they're rushed, and I'm like, I just wish that this has been strung out a little bit more. But I understand you can't because you you only have three more episodes left, so you have to get some of this stuff taken care of and done with. I I don't know. It's very. I think it's weirdly. I know what it is. You can't have an ensemble show and do an eight episodes like this. You got to have at least thirteen, because there's just there's too many pieces going on here, and too many things happening. Um, I'll give you a perfect example of this. Um, what was the the, the the human that they had for echolocation? Was it Lotus? Is that her name? I, I honestly don't. Remember. I, I think it was Lotus. Um, I'm gonna call her Lotus. That's what I'm gonna call her. Now you're she's gonna be Lotus. Yeah, you're you're Lotus. You're Lotus now. Lotus. Lotus. Your your name. My name is my name is Kunta. Your name is Toby. Your name is Toby. All Toby. right. Lotus, Toby. Lotus. We got close, didn't we? Listen, you died. It didn't matter. You're 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 you were you were unnamed as far as I was concerned before. You are you are whatever we decide to call you. So anyway, her whole thing. I think she made a really great point when she was saying, "Hey," when she was pointing out the the the, the problem with the royal family, right? And uh, that, hey, this is how they talk to the lower cast. I wanted to be a healer, but because of Terra Genesis, I now have to be this. I am now basically their bloodhound. You know, I go and find things for them. That is what my job is. That's all I can do. And this is why people uh, side with Maximus. This is why we turn against them because, you know, they're not they're not the, they're not the good people of this. You know, uh, they're not they're not as good as they make they, they think they are. Right. And, and that goes back to what we were saying about when we did our Unhumans character corner that. You know, it's it's hard to, to like early in the, the royal family early on because they're not good people. They're assholes. They're monarchs. And, and they don't really think about their people as much as they think they do. You know, they, they, they you know, uh, uh, side with, uh, you know, genetic, uh, your, your, you know, whatever your genetics are, make your destiny. Like, that's what they believe in. And so I thought that was really good. But then when she dies in an episode, next thing you know, she's like, tell Black Bolt to be the king we want him to be. And I'm like, oh, God, come on. Like, we didn't, I didn't, we never got that. We we never had a chance to see her have that turn. Like, if she was, like, if they showed us the, the fight, right? 
if they showed us a fight that they had with those um the people that were the, the drug dealers right and let's say we saw maximus one a uh, 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 black bolt save her or something like that and then she jumped in front of a bullet and took a bullet that way then that end scene with her saying be the be the 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 king that we we deserve and the king we want you to be and we believe you to be that would have made more sense but we went from seeing her you know upset at the royal family and 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 rightly so down to the point that louise is like is this how you guys talk to people is this how you guys act to then she's getting shot and then all of a sudden she has a turn and change of heart i'm like so that's the pacing thing like that right there like i can i can fill the gaps in and I can I can do that, but as a, as a, 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 as a TV show, I shouldn't have to fill that gap, and that's a pretty big leap for a character. Um, and I know it's because they don't have time; they have to get that turn in. They have to. They got three more episodes, and they got to get it in there. And so that's where having a longer season, or at least doing that arc over two episodes, would have at least made sense. Um, but instead, we we get we get it all crammed into one. And again, I don't. I don't think you can fix. They're, they're going to be able to fix that this season. There's only three episodes left, no. um, and and God for like looking at the, the ratings, they're not going to get a second season off this. Uh, but if they did, I would definitely empl- empl- employ them to uh, longer season and take your time on this because there is a good story here and there is a good show here. I just think that sometimes they're so crunched for time that they can't show it. You know. So yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, I enjoyed a lot of the A plot this time. I like the fact that the family's back together. I even like the Black Bolt Medusa. Like they they communicated their relationship better this time. I thought. Oh, that was way better. That might be the best. There's a lot to like yeah. about this episode. Yeah. No. No. The the Black Bolt and Medusa together. Uh, this episode was infinitely better than the pilot. We hadn't seen them together since the pilot. Exactly. Right? And so that was infinitely done better than what they were in the pilot. And again, it goes back to this idea of, you know. This show could have been would have been so much better, and it, if they hadn't rushed, like it's clear that they rushed this, and um, it leaves you kind of wondering, hey, if you guys just taking your time a little bit more, um, you could have fixed it. Because the other thing too with, with rushing this is, and I, and I think you could you can you can definitely do this in in eight to ten episodes because I mean Game of Thrones does this, and this is what they were trying to go for. This Game of Thrones aspect of you know monarchs and and betraying and looking out for the people and things like this. It's 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 really hard if you don't have really tight writing though to nail that and and so for instance like that uh, Maximus showing his true colors with the the force contrip, contrip, uh, conscription right again I like that because it goes back to what we were saying that hey Maximus is right Maximus is right ooh oh Maximus you're not really right you're just an asshole looking out for you you're pretending like you're right and you're really doing it for yourself right like and I don't think they really nailed that this episode with Maximus is like hey. He's saying do all this stuff because he's, he's fighting for the people. But then he had that whole thing was he was like, that's the problem with these people. First of all, these people, um, they think freedom is given. They have to earn it. It's like, well, that's actually not what freedom. No, that's not. That doesn't matter what freedom. Freedom is not. No, you don't have to earn your. No, that's not how that works. And the only way you earn your freedom is if you're saying that they are your slaves or you're saying that they are your prisoners. Then, then you have to earn your freedom. Like that's what you're saying. So the fact that Maximus is, is talking to the lower caste like that already, he one sees himself not as, not of the lower class, caste, and two he's showing his true true, true um, uh, colors that he and it's something we've all known, but he's actually saying this now uh, out loud that he doesn't want to free the lower caste. He just wants to be black. He just wants to be king. He just wants to replace right. his that's brother, how it's ever been. right? And that's how it's always ever been. So, and I think that's done really well. Um, but again, you with the, the the quick pacing, I don't know. It just it just it doesn't feel like it always nails it there. Like even at the end where they have um, his friend being now confronted with um, these people who are like, "Yo, we want to bring back the true king." It's like, where did these people come from? Like, it just feels like none of that was brewing. And I think it's because we've never really got to see the lower cast. Like, other than, what was the pilot when we saw um, the father? We saw them working in the mines. I think that might have been the pilot. Right. I think that was. Other than that, we really haven't seen 
the lower cast actually working and seeing that the conditions are the same. And I just feel like it's if we had just gotten a little bit of that, we could start seeing the discontent among the people. This story needs more time. Yeah, it, it just it just did. Like, there, again, there's a good story there. It's just that because we don't have time to show, they don't have time to show it to us. We have to imagine it. And it right. shouldn't be that way. We should at least get some idea of that. Because, like, when they show the um, the father was like, yeah, he's a level 8 strength, and he's the only one that we went, we asked for this. He thought it would be an honor. I'm like, but why would, like, that doesn't, why would he think it's an honor, but the other one's not? Like, I need to see, I need to see their interaction. And we haven't seen their interaction. We haven't seen the father since, I think, the pilot. So, like, I don't know. It, it, again, it goes down to, the constrained time, I think, is really hampering the story. That if the story had, even if it was just two more episodes, if this was a ten episode season, I think we would have been able to, to space some of the stuff out and get get more get more of it. Because, like I said, I, I I think the episodes, I still think the last episode is probably better than this one. Um, but there are there there the is, there was so much. That- I, I'd hard to I, I'd have to watch them back to back. I just enjoyed the, the, the highs of this episode were so much higher to me. Just partially because I finally get why they cast these two as Black Bolt and Medusa. Well, there's that. I um I really like the Karnak stuff too. And the, yeah, the Karnak stuff I enjoyed. And people will say, oh, you need to show him with the, with the powers before you show him without them. I actually like it more this way because we get to see what he's like without them. How, well, how empty and, and and bereft he feels. And and I think that's why I liked it. Like I think. I think that them showing us the um, flashback with him, with uh, Gorg- first of all, it was funny. Gorgon bringing the flag in. It's like, <laughs> hey, hey, look what I brought. Look what I found. Look what I found. Look what I found. This is great. Dude, you got to put it back. You got to put it back. In 22 minutes, that's how it's going to come over. Like, that entire thing was just fucking hilarious. Um, but then when Gorgon was just basically like, man, you're just no fun. Like, you don't have, you can't even play games no more. You just stay by yourself. It just, you just see that. And then when you had, oh, what, what is her name? Is it? Is it Jennifer? Jessica. Jen. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jen. When Jen told him, it's like, hey, look, doubt is okay. Like, you know, having yeah. some doubt is okay. Like, that stuff mattered. Like, that was probably, um, I think that was better than even the previous episode. Uh, with, with I like the, I liked even Gorgon being like, he talked about me? Really? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you, you want to know why? Stuff like that sold the, sold the universe. You, you want to know why? You want to know why? Because when you get... Um, Maximus, uh, Maximus, when you get uh, Black Bolt and Medusa working together, uh, working right, and having the chemistry in that, finally, when you get Gorgon and, and see how, first of all, when you see Karnak, happy to see Gorgon, and then when Gorgon's like, wait, he, 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 he talks about me? You know what you finally get? You finally get them feeling like a family. It right. finally feels like a family, which is what the point is. If you're going to do this, you have to make it so that the inhuman royal family is a family no matter what. So, yeah, there's going to be that problem where they're assholes, right? And they're, hey, look, you're the monarchy. You don't see that you're you're kind of what you're doing to the lower caste. All that stuff is great. But what the way you sell it is that royal family is a family and they'll do whatever they want, they, they, they can for each other. And so I, I, I think that's why it worked this episode because, again, you need to separate the family. But I think that if, the, if that first pilot had given us more of this and got in the, the more of the fun moments with Karnak and Gorgon got in, um, uh, 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 uh black bolt and Medusa and their chemistry working right. And even, I think we needed this, uh, some more crystal and, and, and Medusa. Cause we really didn't even get that in the yeah. pilot. And so when crystal's talking about how, you know, Hey, you know, I've always, you know, I think it was crystal saying that she was like, I, I've always had, my sisters always looked out for me and always looked out after me and, and, you know, I need to, need to get them. We never really got that. So in this episode, you got some, you got, you got a payoff. The problem is we never got the setup. So you got the payoff of, hey, the family's back together. They, you know, they, their bond is even stronger than it was before. But we never really got that before. And there was never really time to really establish that before we separated them. So the payoff isn't as big. But if you can imagine that we have gotten this up before, then this is a, this, that, that's a really works here. You know, it's just, like I said, at this point, it's just, it's the technical stuff that's always been a problem with the show. Um, but if you, if you can fill in the gaps, whether they, they happen or not, it, it works. And I think that, that, that really works. Like, I love, I love, I love when, 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 when Gorg came in and, and, and stomped and, and wiped everybody out. 
And then he, he looks at Carney. He's like, "Yeah, I know I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't." Carney's just like, "Man, I'm happy to see you." He's like, "Wait, you are? You you're okay? You like? Wait, you're like you're not gonna yell at me? You're not gonna yell at me for just coming in and stomping and doing all this stuff? You're you're you're, you're, you're happy to see me?" So I thought that was great. You know, I really enjoyed that, and I thought it was really uh, well done. So um, let's see. Also, also, shout out to my man Mortis. <laughs> Every episode, Mortis is in. So good. <laughs> really? We're gonna really? You're just gonna run? You're gonna do that? This what this is what the guy gonna do? Like I, I need an entire episode uh narrated by Mortis. Like the final episode needs to be narrated by Mortis. <laughs> you know, do like a record scratch, probably wondering how I got here. And just have him narrate <laughs> the battle and how everything goes. Cause he just he's just so nonchalant and fed up with everything. It's like, really you're gonna run? You're gonna do, you, you, you this is what you're gonna Get him. <laughs> just, he just feels so disgusted with everything. And I love it. It's so good. It's so good. So good. Um, and um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm guessing Declan might not be a bad guy after all. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. I, I like how they've kind of twisted the uh, sensibilities of who's what. And I will say this. I was thinking about the thing that you just mentioned about the timeline of this finally caring about the, the royal family five episodes in. I do think that, again, the shorter season hurt him because economically it's hard to, to, to pace out, care, make us care, then separate, then make us care again. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. This is why I, I go, if, I, if, if this was me, first of all, um, a, a couple of things I would have done differently, right? First, we all agree, don't put an IMAX, all right? Yeah. Second, yo, Agent Shield should have come back first. Unless, unless we get to the last episode and somehow there's a time with Agent of Shield, I think there's going to be a time thing. Why Agent it, Shield isn't first? It, it, it's got to be. It's got to be. Um, be. Because to me, what I would have done was I would have then put it in as a um, uh, either started it early or put it in as a, a, a mid-season break and done at least I think I think thirteen episodes. Because I think I think um, wasn't the first season of Legend of Tomorrow thirteen. I think That's so. the number I had to. Yeah, I think thirteen episodes is what they needed to properly do this because, again, like, and unlike Legend of Tomorrow, we we already knew most of these characters. We knew all the legends, and we were bringing in a couple. And we introduced um, at least two of the Hawks already in another in, in, in other shows. Here, you're bringing the entire family. If you spend, if you give us that first uh, two episodes, uh, and you and and before you and you break them up at the end of the second episode. And you spend that first two episodes really building up the um, uh, the the dis, the this dis, disgust that Maximus has for his brother. You build up the, the the friendship and the relationship between the family. And again, what you do is you you, you start with that, that 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 the family relationship, but you also show that there's there's cracks. You show that there's some. You, you show us that that conversation that uh, Gorgon and 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 and, and um, Karnak had, and with Gorgon being, hey, you know, you're you're kind of no fun no more. You know, you kind of. You, you know, you, you you don't you can't even play games, you know, because you, you just you see everything already, you know, you're just nothing there. You show us a little um, some issues, some small issues between um, uh, Crystal and, and and Medusa. So that way, again, when you bring them together this episode, you're like, oh, they see that they're stronger together. You know, the, 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 the stereotypical mushy stuff that you always see when you finally bring your your friends and family back together after breaking them apart for a few a few uh, a few episodes. Right. Um, and, and again, I, I, I hate to hold the same thing against them every time, but you're right. Like the, this is one of the things, the relationships on the show are where having the shorter season just, just have really hurt it. And there's no way of getting around it. All right. You know? So yeah. Yeah. But again, but I do think the shorter season there, there are other elements that they've done well. I think the actual plot of the storyline for the most part has moved pretty well you take the the relationship stuff out the the, the plot of the storyline stuff has 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 for the most part worked out like i can i can go with that and it's, and, it's, and it's moved pretty well it's just that you don't get the emotional connection to the characters that you would have liked at this right. point you know because again we're we're, we're past it we're, past, we're we're near the end, we're, we're coming into the end of the season like the the um the teaser for the next episode was basically like two more episodes till the season finale. And I'm just like, wow, really already? Damn. Like we just, I don't know. You know, it kind of hurts. So, um, 
Yeah. Uh, what else was I going to say about this? Um, yeah, Crystal stuff really just she just annoys me. I, I, they they needed a stronger character, I think. I mean, a stronger actress. Um, not much more you can do. I mean, I I, th- I think that's also why, if you think about it, they don't really give her all to do. Well, also, she and I think that I think you and I were right earlier about this that they have to tread water with her because once she's involved, it's kind of in game. Right. I mean, she's, she's, she's like, she kind of like I control the elements, but I've never seen. Them. Like, well, the thing is, controlling the elements on the moon is one thing. Controlling the elements on Earth, where there's an abundance of said elements, is like I'm really excited for her final battle scene. That's all I'm yeah. gonna say. If, yeah. if they miss it, they miss it, and I'll be upset. But right. that's there. You want to redeem it? Let's nail this landing. Yeah, stick the landing with that one. So, um, again, I like, I like what, again, I, I, I like what they're doing with Maximus and kind of showing him. So, do we? Did he go through the secondary Terra Genesis, or did he go to try to go to the chamber again? Because remember, last episode they showed him with the crystals walking him to the chamber. This episode they never address anymore. I don't think so. Okay, Not yet. The, whenever that happens, they'll show it. Okay. Or if he did it, then they're gonna do a thing where he reveals his powers in that final battle. And and that's what I was that's what I was thinking about. That's why I'm leading more towards that. That he did do it. Um and his power from manifestor in that final battle and he'll go mad. So that, at least that's what I'm hoping for. We'll see. So um yeah, I mean overall I, I liked how I like I like the small moments with the characters. Like I said, I, I, there, there's the overall problems that we talked about here, um that are just gonna be a problems. Um yeah, I, I just think that to me, I think this is just going to be a lesson learned. Like, you can't rush things. You can't rush things. You get things to proper seasons. Um, and properly plan them, plan, them, plan them out. Like, I think you can do... Eight episodes worked for Agent Carter. I think they did ten episodes for Agent Carter. But it was, it was one character. It was an ensemble cast, right? You you weren't doing things where you cut to multiple characters. Every, almost every scene either involved the villain or involved uh, Hilly Atwell's uh, Peggy Carter, Right. So you right. can do that in eight in, in, in eight episodes, ten episodes. But when you have an entire cast and you're basically have five different storylines you're trying to bring together because now you even had the idea of like another example of things that are weird. Mortis and the other uh, and, and and um the other inhuman that, that was working with Black Bolt had somehow made it into the force and were tracking Black Bolt, but somehow Aaron was 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 almost was on a operating table and was about to be dissected. Like, how did that happen? Like, they just left her. Did they see her? Did they not see her body there? Did they like, and then, and then when they communicated, he made it seem like like, oh, you're. He didn't say, oh, you're still alive. Oh, we thought you were dead, and she was just like, it was like she had sent them out there to do that. I'm like, wait a minute. Last time we saw you guys, everybody was almost blown up. So right. how the how the fuck did this happen? Like. And again, I think that just goes down to they don't don't have time, so they just cut things out, and you know it's it's just unfortunate because I think there are ways to fix that, and you can you can tell yourself that, but it just that that was a weird scene to me because it was like, hey, okay, so these two, one of them's dead, the other ones, you know, she apparently I guess her power is she can't die. What happened to everybody else? And you find out they're in the they're in the forest tracking Black Bolt still. Ha, what? <laughs> yeah, it shows like a lot of corners got cut. Yeah, that, that was just a, that was a huge cut corner for me. Um, I mean, it didn't bother me because again, it's Mortis, so I'll kind of allow any scene that has Mortis in it just because he's an asshole. But um, yeah, when you think about it, you're just like, wait, how the fuck did that? Ha- what were you guys thinking? How did this? What? So I don't know. So anyway, um, and oh, oh, and last thing too, because just this is just a general thing. It's not really about humans or anything like that. Listen, um, you're not going to uh impress your criminal partners by killing your other partner. This is never, it never worked out. It's never, unless they tell you to do it. And even if they tell you to do it, you're probably, that's, that, that shows you, 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 you can't be trusted. That was stupid. Like you can't like, dude, come on. What are you stupid? Hey, show me the hole where you put your other, where you put your partner's body in. Oh, uh, okay. Dude. I mean, sure. If you really want to see it. Dude, dude, come on. Like, yeah, it's, it's through the woods right down there. Like you, can't, said, you, you can't miss it. You say what? Like I said, it was an accident. Why wouldn't you believe me? Put the gun down. Oh no, I'm shot too. Yeah, right. No, no dude, I'm not doing. I'm not. Yeah, dude, come on. Yeah, show me where the show me where you bury the other body. Yeah, no, I'm not stupid. Come on, I'm not doing that. Come on, be smarter. So anyway, folks, uh, you got anything else you want to say? Nope, we're good. I'm excited for the last three. I hope 
that we get more of the good stuff. Like Black Bolt, whenever they reveal his powers and show him on a large scale is going to be fun. Medusa, whatever that, I'm, I'm excited to see where that's landing. They've got me compelled about some things I wasn't necessarily locked in on before. It's just, it doesn't feel like a complete show yet. The complete show is hitting on cylinders, but I think this is one of the better installments we've got. I mean, I, I think as a, I think they'll 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 finish strong. Um, I think there'll still probably be some, uh, you know, there will be some issues, and they they might not stick the landing because of the things they haven't before. But I think in the context of what we get and what we can expect, if you take out the stuff that we know is going to be a problem. Um, I think they'll 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 do pretty fairly well for themselves. And um, speaking of um, final things, uh, I should have mentioned. You know, I, Medusa kind of mentioned that she can still kind of feel her hair. I think a little bit there. So maybe we 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 get a little bit more of the the comic booky stuff there from 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 that uh, those twelve issues, uh, those first twelve issues from that the Marvel Knights nice and Human thing. So maybe she can still. Maybe she doesn't know she can do it, but she kind of can still feel like it's there, and she gets yeah, up. She gets up to Adeline, and she, left. right? And she'll get up to Adeline, and she'll her hair will magically come back or something like. That. We'll see. We'll see. So I did. I did notice that they mentioned that in there as well. So, so anyway, um, again, Super Tuesday recap, folks. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, uh, Google Play Music. Uh, we are almost at six hundred subscribers on YouTube, so you can get all of our episodes there as well. So uh, go to YouTube, m- youtube.com slash MTR Network. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Super Tuesday Recap. If you're listening to this on just the MTR Network feed, you're going to miss our um, our gifted review. Shannon and Jeff joined me. Uh, and we did the gifted, and we're going to put that on there, review the first three episodes. Um, just so you guys know, d likes the gifted. He's, he's caught up on it. Loves the gifted. And he's going to be on the next set of, of reviews we do just because uh, I never want to announce it then because I knew I, I was waiting for Deepom to tell me he wanted to do it. And it happened in the Facebook group. He's like, yeah, next time you guys do this, I want to be on. I'm like, I knew that was going to happen. I didn't want to bring it up, though. I had to let you. Had, I had to make you ask for it. I had to make you ask for it. Uh, <laughs> but no, the gift is really good. It's basically um, it's the X-Men stuff we wanted. You know, it's the X-Men done right. Yeah. So. Yeah, so t- check that out. And uh, make sure you sign up for our newsletter on mtrnetwork.net. Uh, we're going to start putting out codes and things like that to get coupons and uh, uh, like 10% off on, on stuff on the, on, on the store and stuff like that. So uh, just stay tuned. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace. Peace.